Hey guys, this is Vin with Agony Gaming, and today I'm going to tell you about my Elementalist build. I'd like to start off by saying that this build is fairly complex. However, if you do it correctly, and if you gear correctly, you can use any weapon combination with this, including Dagger, Dagger, Staff, or even Scepter Focus. So for starters, I'm going to go through, I'm going to cover my gear, and then I'll cover my traits for both Dagger, Dagger, and for Staff, and then I'll show you what the build's capable of. So real quickly, I'll go through my gear here. I use knight's gear in almost every slot. All of my armor slots are knights, which is power, precision, and toughness. But I socket it with zerker. Uh, so I use ruby orbs for power, crit, and precision. For my weapons right now, I've got two daggers equipped. And for those, I'm running knight's daggers. And the first dagger, I use the sigil of battle, which gives me three stacks of might whenever I swap to this weapon in combat. This is really important because you're going to be swapping attunements constantly. And as an elementalist, that's very important, is that you're always switching your attunements. In my offhand, I use a Sigil of Force, and it's just going to give you a, a straight across the board 5% uh, increase to your damage. Now, in my amulet and two ring slots, I'm using Ascended Gear. Um, it's important to mention here, in one of them I'm using the Lunaria Circle of the Moon. This gives you a wide variety of stats. Um, it was recommended per a build that I was looking at. I've been kind of trying it out. I'm happy with it so far, but I might swap this ring out for a Zerger ring instead. Uh, either way, I'm going to be using 5 Agony Resistance in this ring, um, just because I run a lot of Fractals, so uh, I like the Agony Resistance so I can do the higher level Fractals. Uh, my second ring, I'm, I'm running Band of the Brotherhood, and again, socketed with 5 Agony Resistance. In my amulet, I'm using Amulet of the Skies. It's also Knight's stats, and uh, same thing with it. I'm running uh, Power, Precision, and Toughness. My back piece is also, um, it's not ascended yet, but will be soon, as soon as I have the marks. And I'm going to be running Zerkers in the back piece, because from what I can tell, it doesn't look like they've released a Knight's back piece yet. And that'll just give me a little bit of extra damage, so I'm okay with that. Uh, same thing with it, I'll also put Agony Resistance in it as well. Both of my accessories here, although not ascended yet, are uh, exotic Knight's gear. But just like the rest of the gear, I have it socketed with Zerker. So I use an exquisite Ruby Jewel. So let's go ahead and cover the traits here next. Uh, zero into Fire Magic. 10 into air magic. This will remain the same with the staff build as well. Uh, you, use, you go 1 for Zephyr's Boon, and that makes it to where your auras grant fury and swiftness when applied. Uh, 0 into earth magic, 30 into water, and 30 into arcana. Let me go ahead and cover water real quickly for dagger, and then I'll cover it for staff. Uh, same with arcana as well. Um, so in Water Magic, when you're using Dagger Dagger, you're going to go with number 3 for Soothing Disruption. This makes it to where your cantrips grant you regeneration and vigor. Uh, Cleansing Wave, which makes it to where you remove a condition from you and your allies whenever you attune to water. And Cleansing Water, which removes a condition when granting regeneration to yourself or an ally. So this build's great. It offers a lot of support as well as a lot of damage. So you can really run whatever you want to run in this build. I absolutely love it. Uh, in Arcana, I go with 5 Elemental Attunement. It makes it to where whenever you attune to an element, all nearby allies gain uh, either Might for Fire, Regen for Water, Swiftness for Air, Protection for Earth. I also use 6 Renewing Stamina. You gain Vigor when you deliver a critical hit. This effect can only occur once every five seconds. And then I use Evasive Arcana. Uh, it lets you create an attunement-based spell at the end of your dodge. Uh, flame Burst, Fusion Fire, uh, Cleansing Wave for Water, uh, Blinding Flash for Air, or Churning Earth for uh, Earth. And that can only be triggered once every 10 seconds. This goes really nicely with Water and getting some nice power heals out. I'll explain that when I go through my rotation. Um, it's important to mention, if you're using a staff, a couple of these are going to switch. Also, if you're using a staff, you're going to want to use a Zerker staff, Power, Precision, and Crit, but stick with the Sigil of Battle on it. Now, if you're switching to staff, a couple things are going to change here. 
you're going to change in water. Instead of three, you're going to run five. And that's uh, the, the cleansing wave that you saw in part two. But instead of five, you're going to switch this to actually six, which six is going to make you deal extra damage when your health is above 90%. So there it is right there. And then instead of 11, you're going to run 12, which is powerful aura. Auras are applied to nearby allies. I'm also going to go ahead and link these builds down at the bottom so that you can find them and refer back to them later. Um, you're going to switch up a couple of things in Arcana as well. You're going to stick with 5 but then you're going to switch this to 8. That makes it to where area attacks with your staff are larger. And then you're going to keep 11 on the end there. So I'll show you uh, dagger first and explain the rotation. Then I'll switch up my skills, switch to staff, and explain the rotation there as well. Uh, again, as I had mentioned, uh, this is a pretty complicated rotation. So I'm going to go through it first, and I'll explain my utility skills as well. Okay, so utility skills. Uh, for Dagger Dagger and for uh, Staff, I'm going to always use Aether Renewal. Uh, it's probably the best heal that you can get with an Elementalist because it cures a condition with every pulse. Um, however, it's not a direct heal, it's a heal over time, so it kind of depends on what you want to do. In this particular build, I highly encourage Aether Renewal. Uh, this builds a lot about getting in, doing some damage, and getting out real quick. And it's in and out constantly. So lightning flash is pretty important. It lets you teleport to a targeted area. This also helps in like PvP or, or something where you need to chase down an enemy. Uh, cleansing fire is nice because it'll cure three conditions. It'll also help you break out of a stun and burn foes. And mist form is always nice because it makes you invulnerable for a, a brief time. And dagger dagger, the elite skill that I chose is conjure fiery greatsword. Um, those of you that haven't used it, this is a really strong uh, elite. I probably won't show it to you in this video, just because it's a it's a weapon and all of its own. Uh, you you use it in, in situational things, um, and for showing you my rotation, I want to be effective to show you what fiery greatsword does. So try it out on practice dummy and lion's arch. I guarantee you'll love it. So let me go back here and refer to the uh, rotation. Uh, you start out, generally, the, the best rule is that you use air before fire, fire before earth, and water is always situational. That's the basics. However, in this case, you're probably not going to use some of these abilities. What I do is I start out a fight with Ride the Lightning. That makes it to where I charge into my target. I use 5, which will knock them back. And then afterwards, I switch to fire. Now fire, as soon as I switch to that, I'm going to use fire 3, which makes me slide forward and blast the area, leaving behind a line of fire. And then I'll hit my foe with fire grab. This is one of your hardest hitting skills, so it's super important that you have it, but it also has a 45 second cooldown, something to kind of keep in mind. As soon as I'm done doing my fire grab, then I immediately switch to earth. And with earth, I'll cast an Earth 5, which is Churning Earth. It has a very long cast time, uh, but it does massive damage and a fairly large AoE. You can also couple this with Lightning Flash and mid-cast, cast to somebody and get it off like without them really expecting it. This is helpful, especially when they're running away from you. Uh, you notice it a lot more in PV, uh, PvP rather than PvE. Something to kind of keep in mind there as well. And then when you're done with that, most likely your fire is off cooldown, you can switch back to fire, and you can do fire 3 again. Uh, if not, then you go back to air, and rinse and repeat. So, pretty complicated, let me show it to you real quick, see how this works. My fire should be off cooldown by the time I get to a target out here. A 
looks like that ooze is our lucky target. Oh, there we go. So there's the dagger rotation. I didn't get through the entire thing that I had explained to you because it's a target with not very much health. Um, but you kind of get the idea. Practice it. That's, that's the best thing I can say for you. It takes a while to get used to. I can't even say that I'm fully used to the rotation yet. It's, it's taken some time to learn. So make sure you practice on a practice dummy or, or even in dungeons, some of the lower level dungeons, some easy stuff so that you can learn it. Now let me go ahead and switch up my traits here real quick and I'll show you staff. Again, it's 5, 6, and 12 in water. And then 5, 8, and 11 in arcana. Air always stays the same. Now let me go ahead and explain the rotation in air for you. Um, it's fairly complicated as well. Uh, the idea is you want to make the best out of your combo fields with this, uh, but I can explain a little bit more in detail how I would use a staff. I also show you what I would use for my um, for my utility skill. So in this build, I'm going to stick with Ether Renewal, but I'm going to swap uh, my Lightning Flash out for the Glyph of Storms. There it is. Glyph of Storms creates a storm based on your attunement, uh, Firestorm, Ice, Lightning, or Sand. Uh, before I go any further, the Staff build is very heavy AoE, but it's also nice range, so you're going to be using Staff quite frequently in Fractals. Um, anything that you can't really go melee in, you're definitely going to want to switch to staff. So uh, you'll see it in like the Fire Shaman and, and those sort of fights uh, up against the Harpies, uh, those sort of things in Fractal. Uh, next, I would use Arcane Wave. Uh, now, this one you can swap out. Um, I prefer Arcane Wave, but it's situational. Sometimes I'll use Frostbow if the fight calls for it. Um, I mean, it, it's really up to you what you want to use, but I generally, if I swap this one out, I'm swapping it out for Frostbow. I don't swap it out for too many other things. And then Mist Form again, which can also be swapped out for something else. You could swap it out for, you know, a Lightning Flash if you prefer that. I like the invulnerability, though. And then I'm always going to uh, swap out the Flame Sword here. Uh, Flame Sword on a ranged thing isn't really necessary. It's nice. It does have some ranged abilities. It does do some strong damage, but if I'm going to go staff, I generally switch to a Glyph of Elementals. I especially like the Earth Elemental. Uh, it helps take some heat off of my party members, um, but if I'm needing to do damage with it, I'll use the Fire Elemental. I don't typically use Air or Ice that much. Now, the way that the cycle works with the staff is you're going to start out with a uh, air, water, earth, and fire, and then repeat the cycle, basically. Um, this is going to help you get all the different buffs on you. Um, it's the most optimal method of rotation for self-combos. Uh, so generally you're going to start out with earth 2, and then you're going to switch to fire, and you're going to do fire 2. Uh, so that gives you a couple of different combo fields. Uh, you can switch to water after that, do water 5, then back to earth, and you can do earth 2 again. You can go then back to, after that, cast. After a few seconds, you can head back to water. You can cast water 3. You can cast water 5 and then go back to earth, earth 1 and then earth 5. You can do water 4, um, plus your different blast finishers. Uh, and then other abilities that you have that are definitely worth noting. You know, you can toss Burning on your foes with Flame Burst. Um, burning retreats a nice dodge. You've got Meteor Shower, which is a great AoE skill. Goes great with number 7 when you're using those AoE skills as well. Um, however, Air, 
air doesn't really have anything useful except for windborne speed so that you can run from location to location aside from that I don't think I really ever use this unless everything else is just kind of on cooldown if I need to I can use number two number three is a nice knockback so for the shaman and uh, and the fire shaman level if you're trying to keep them from sacrificing the humans in there you can you can knock them back that's that's really all I use air for though so with this one there's not really a set rotation um, it's kind of just prioritizing what you want to use the most but I'll go ahead and show it to you anyways just to give you an idea of the damage that can still be done with it now I like to kind of make sure that people stay still when I'm casting my skills at them so there's that we'll do that we'll switch to fire light them on fire And he's dead. So there's your staff skill right there. I'll go ahead and heal and take this condition off of us. So there you have it. Uh, that's my elementalist build. I'm not going to really go into scepter focus. There are some useful skills there. Uh, you're going to see it used a lot more in PvP. Uh, you can explore around with that a little bit. Definitely try out test dummies or come out here to ore and test some things out. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment on the video or contact me in game. Again, my name is Vin with Agony Gaming. If you like this video, please subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can also check us out on Facebook at Twitter uh, at AGNY Gaming.